I had a very, very light-minded soul and strength behind me, which was wonderful. Amir was there, Bharti. So the, the it, it it was. ये मुझे बोल रहे थे खेलो तुम जाओ अंदर घुसो खेलो and that's the only reason uh, it happened. You take a left turn from uh, Mahim and you come into the highway. And I think I've shared this before. And there's a statue there which says a child gives birth to a mother. It's amazing. Here was Amir who gave birth to a director. Ladies and gentlemen, Amir. Matlab, direct mani kya tha? Mera, kuch zada hi bol diya tunne yaar. Ye ham sab ke liye bhot hi jazbati lama hai aur ham sab ki yade aaj taza ho rahi hai. So many memories uh, attached to this film. Uh, it's been a very unique experience for us all. And there are a lot of things, but I want to say two things. One thing is that I think that this film is a film that we have a lot of effect on us today. It has left us in any way to transform us. It has left us in a color. The color of the color is the title. ये बसंती रंग हम पे कहीं ना कहीं उतर गया है इस फिल्म के जरिए ये फिल्म करने के जरिए जिस तरह फिल्म के किरदार जो हैं वो पास से इफेक्ट होते हैं उसी तरह मुझे लगता है हम सब ये फिल्म ने कहीं ना कहीं हम सब को बनाया है तो ये बहुत ही खास फिल्म है हम सब के लिए और जैसा कि मेरा बता रहा था कि ये फिल्म जो है जब हमने जब तक हम बना रहे थे वो हमारी थी जब हमने रिलीज़ की तो ये ऑडियंस की फिल्म हो गई और वाकई ऑडियंस ने इसको बहुत ही प्यार और इज्जत दी जिसके लिए हम बहुत ही शुक्रगुजार हैं वी वेरी वेरी रियली ग्रेटफुल फॉर दैट और असल में फिल्म जो है ये ऑडियंस ने बनाई है इन द वे दे रिस्पॉन्डेड टू द फिल्म मेरे लिए दो चीज़ बहुत अहम थी इस फिल्म में एक तो ये कि मैं चंद्रशेखर आज़ाद का रोल कर रहा था ये एक मौका था मेरे लिए एक ऐसे किरदार निभाने का जो हमारे इतिहास में है समवन हुज बीन सच पेट्रियट और दूसरा जो मेरे लिए बहुत ही एक अहम चीज़ थी जब मुझे मेहरा ने बताया कि वेदा जी फिल्म में इट वॉज़ अ वेरी स्पेशल मोमेंट फॉर मी आई वॉज सो हैप्पी कि मुझे uh, मौका मिल रहा है अपने ज़िंदगी में वेदा जी के साथ काम करने का बिकॉज आई बीन सच अ ह्यूज फैन ऑफ यू वेदा जी शर्मन सेट एन अतुल टू स्टेप अप एंड नॉट इन एनी ऑर्डर प्लीज Share what's going on in your heart right now. Uh, well, good evening to all of you. Thanks for being here. An absolute honor. One of my earlier films, and had the pleasure of working with possibly the greatest actor this country is going to produce, the greatest superstar, and a wonderful, wonderful human being, Amir Khan. Rakesh Mehra, a director whom I couldn't have imagined to have worked with anyone better than him. I always had a dream. <clears throat> I remember I uh, had auditioned for this film. And uh, I always had this little dream when I was started off in my theater days that I want one film to happen to me in such a way. I had given many auditions by then. But one audition where I finished the audition and the director should say, yeah, you're on, you're in the cast. And that's what happened with Rangde Vasanti. I gave the audition and Mehra said, yeah, you're on. And I'm like, huh? what, are you sure? <laughs> He sat in a room, we discussed, and then suddenly, of course, I grew in confidence as I sat with him since I was already a part of the film. I told him I saw your earlier film, I loved the first half, the second half didn't work. So he tells me, don't worry with this one, we'll work the second half also. So well, many more such fond memories, great friendships, great time on the shoot, off the shoot, Sid, a wonderful love-hate relationship that we shared, uh, we shared the same makeup band and we, there were days where we, we didn't talk to each other and then of course days where we've had the uh, best of friendship. 
Atul, who never liked me too much initially, <laughs> but then he's in love with me. He's been very fond of me. And uh, Kunal Kapoor, who I really love, so hard, I've worked with in many more films. Alice, who's not with us, wonderful girl again. And uh, yeah, well, the entire crew and uh, Vaida Ma'am, of course, the honor of just being in the same film as she was. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, we gather up again soon for the 20th year celebration. Sid, Atul, whoever wants to take over. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, for most of India, my identity is this film. Uh, they call me the guy who killed Anupam Kher in Rangdeva Um For me, this is a film that that I can't stop thanking the universe for giving me because uh, all of us come in with this misplaced um, belief that we will be here forever because we are vain and we are actors. And uh, there are some films that actually fuel that, you know, feeling of invincibility by giving you a lifetime of identity. And uh, for me, Rangde Basanti is, I'm really sorry, it's just two people for me. It's Mehra and Amir. And uh, this film could have been made with anybody else around Mehra and Amir. And so thank you, Amir. Thank you, Mehra, for giving us the opportunity to run with you guys even before we knew how to walk. Um, I believe Rangde Basanti kind of came at a time in Indian cinema where posterity will demand that it be remembered as a very important place keeper in Indian cinema. I remember Amir calling me on the day of the release. And am I allowed to say this? <laughs> he said, Sid, picture nahi chal yaar. I said, kya baat kar Hi, yaar, it's only working in the multiplexes. And then in the evening he said, no dude, it's working everywhere. <laughs> and this was the film that started off multiplexes defining a big chunk of your business in this country. And I believe that if this film came today, it will probably stem the rot of, you know, saying we made this many crores, but actually not making either a good film or a film that made any money. This would be that film that would make a billion crores and it would still make a lot of sense. And people would still be proud that they saw it five times in the cinema. And uh, for all the um, actors and technicians who are not, <laughs> not, not here, you know? What is that line? What is that line, Amrita? And you've been saying, she's not with us. What do you mean? No, for all the actors and technicians who are not in this auditorium today. Um, just, we've all become a family and, you know, our, our genetic code is Rangdeva Santi. And thank you so much for, you know, giving us this opportunity. And as far as my takeaway <laughs> for the first few years of Rangdeva Santi, I influenced a lot of young kids to start smoking. And it was a terrible influence. And uh, I remember I had... Um, used to smoke a lot during this film, especially because we were shooting, you know, lengthy takes and there was continuity. So I was always <laughs> smoking a, you know, pack of Marlboro Reds. And I remember kids, when I went for the IIT screening, and they took me aside, and Ronnie and Rakesh and Maddie and everyone was on the other side. They took me to the other side in IIT Chennai and they said, sir, ek baar wo cigarette pe ke dekha na, sir. <laughs> so I said, don't ever say that to me again, but just for you, and I lit up a cigarette for them. and. Sharman, Atul, Kunnu, Soha, um, Maddy, Vahida ji, all the actors in this film, A.R. Rahman, I had the, the pleasure of sitting and watching him do the background score of this film. And Rakesh Mehra and I used to go on bike rides at 3 in the morning in Chennai to free ourselves from you know, any confusion so that we could be more awake when A.R. Rahman was playing the keyboard. And then my mother called and said, is Rakesh Mehra mad? How can you both go doubles without a helmet? So these were the kind of things we did. And Haste khelte bani hai film. Rote rote bani hai film. Dekhte dekhte ban gai your film aur das saal ho gaya. Thank you. Hi, good evening. Jab ye film release hui to Rakesh ji ne ek baat kahi thi ki ye film ab hamari nahi rahi, ye audience ki ho gai. Aur jab tak films audience ki nahi ho jati hai, 
तब तक वो दस साल तक जिंदा नहीं रहती है रंग दे बसंती इन अ ट्रू सेंस इज ऑडियंसेस फिल्म कंग्रेचुलेशन द एंटायर टीम फॉर फैबुलस फिल्म आमिर माय क्वेश्चन इज टू यू दैट Uh, the entire candlelight move, uh, uh, movement that started with the Rangde Vasanti and it later just uh, percolated into real life as well with the, the entire Jessica Lal murder case and, and many other, other cases. Uh, how do you look back at that particular thing? Uh, I think this uh, film has been very bad for the audiences. And on a very different level, this film has been in people's minds and opened up with their feelings. So, therefore, I think perhaps that was the first time that there was a पहली दफ़ा हुआ कि लोग बाहर निकले अपने घरों से और उन्होंने किसी चीज़ के लिए एक 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 हो के आवाज़ उठाई तो ये ये फिल्म की ये ये फिल्म का कमाल है कि फिल्म का इतना गहरा असर हुआ न सिर्फ हम लोगों पर जिन्होंने फिल्म बनाई लेकिन हमारी ऑडियंसेस पर भी जी हाय आमिर माय क्वेश्चन इस तू यू सेड दिस फ या यू नो जो ये फिल्म का जो जो मेन मैसेज है वो यही है कि हम सब हमारे समाज में देखते हैं कुछ चीजें हो रही हैं और अक्सर हम उससे अलग रह जाते हैं उससे हम जुदा हो जाते हैं क्योंकि हमको लगता है यार हमारी जिंदगी ठीक चल रही है मैं स्टूडेंट हूँ मुझे आगे मेडिसिन करना है या मैं इंजीनियर हूँ या मेरा बिजनेस है जो भी हमारा काम काज है मैं किसी चीज में क्यों पढ़ू अक्सर हमारा ये तो ये फिल्म हमें ये बात बताती है ये फिल्म हमें ये कहने की कोशिश कर रही है कि अगर हमारे समाज में कोई दिक्कत है कोई प्रॉब्लम्स हैं कोई कठिनाई है तो वो हमें ही साफ करना है वो हमें ही उसको बनाना है वो हमें ही उसको ठीक करना है कोई अमेरिका से जापान से कोई आके हमारा प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व नहीं करने वाला तो हमको ही फैंस जो बोलते हैं ना फैंस सिटर्स हमको फैंस से उतर के हमको ही अगर हाथ मैले करने तो हाथ मैले करने होंगे लेकिन हमें Our country is to make us. We have to be involved in nation building. So this was a message for youth, not just for youth, but for youth. This was a message for this film. That we have to connect with our country. We have to connect with our country. And here, whatever we have to do, we have to connect with our country. And we have to take it forward. This was a message for this film. So I think this is something that we have to do. I feel. Amir, it must be asked, your question is, your uh, personal question is, your remark on intolerance, has really divided the Bollywood film industry. It has snowballed uh, into uh, you know, what it is today. So how, what is your reaction to that, to how everybody else has taken your statement? Actually, I think that there are some people who can understand my story. And there are some people who are angry with me. And their anger is what I understand actually. And if I was in their place, I would probably be angry with them. क्योंकि उनको कुछ ऐसा बताया गया जो सच नहीं था उनको ये बताया गया कि आमिर खान जो है वो देश छोड़ना चाहता है आपको क्या लगता है तो अगर मुझे भी कोई कहे कि भाई फलाना ढमका जो है वो देश छोड़ना चाहते हैं तो मुझे भी बुरा लगेगा यार मेरा देश है आप छोड़ के जा रहे हो इतना बुरा तो नहीं है तो ये जो उनको बताया गया आम इंसान को आम नागरिक को हिंदुस्तान के कि आमिर खान देश छोड़ना चाहता है आपको क्या लगता है तो जाहिर बुरा लगेगा मुझे भी बुरा लगता अगर मुझे कोई ऐसा कहता तो वो मैंने कभी कहा नहीं तो लिहाजा जो लोग शायद मुझसे नाराज हैं उनकी नाराजगी मैं समझता हूं मैं उनको दोष नहीं देता क्योंकि उनको गलत फहमी हुई है इसका इसकी कुछ हकदार आप मीडिया भी हैं जो आपने यही सवाल सबको पूछते गए कि किरण जी आमिर खान जो है वो देश छोड़ना चाह रहे हैं आपको क्या लगता है जो इसमें कोई सच्चाई नहीं थी मैं एक दफ़ा ये साफ कह दूँ सभी को हिंदुस्तान के सभी लोगों को कि मैं यहीं पैदा हुआ हूँ और यहीं मैं मरूँगा
for more updates hit the subscribe button